It takes a lot to win the Premier League, doesn't it? Yeah. Do they have what it takes? Um, why not? The only the only problem they are Man City in their way. Um, take Man City out of it. I know we can't. Um, you'd say uh, they would be favourites at this moment in time, not only because of the position where they are in the league, but the style of how they're playing, the confidence they have, the trust the manager has in them, and the and the and the trust they have in their coach, which is Mikel Arteta, who's done a brilliant job, but. Can they win it? I don't think so because of because of City and because of Erlen Haaland and mm. uh, put Erlen Haaland in in Arsenal's team, they win the Premier League. My worry is it's similar to when Liverpool have competed with City for the league before. Liverpool have a 13, 14 man squad and Arsenal have a just about a 13 man squad. I actually think they'll be fine without maybe a midfielder, maybe a centre back, maybe a left back. But if Jesus gets injured. I think the title yeah. race completely flips on his head because we've seen nine games of him playing yeah. helter-skelter football. He's been unbelievable. Can they win it? Yes. Will they win it? I would say yes, because uh, I feel uh, the usual threats in the Premier League are all out of the race. <laughs> and uh, that the only threat is City. And even City is not as uh, dominant as they were. Uh, last year or two years before. It's Arsenal, right? They, they are steaming their way to what could be a crazy Premier League title. How impressed are you with what Mikel Arteta has done this season? Annoyingly impressed <laughs> because uh, my wife is a massive Arsenal fan. My father-in-law and brother-in-law are both huge Arsenal fans. So it was, it was unbearable when I came back from Cardiff on Boxing Day and, and Arsenal were on TV and they were winning another game, coming from behind to beat West Ham. Then they did it again. I, I thought Brighton would be a difficult test, another mm. test that they've come through. They aren't going away. But you know what? I think it's about time Arsenal fans stopped being so humble. Just come out and say it. You are the favourites, in my opinion, to win this Premier League title. Embrace the pressure and enjoy being top dogs again. I think they're going to win it. I think Arsenal are going to win the league. I think Arsenal are going to do it from this point. And I've based it on what my eyes see. I've based it on the data behind it, not just the very good X XG that I know David likes. They've got the very best in the league XG against. Their defense might, and the reason I back that is because that also matches what I'm seeing. Teams are creating very few clear-cut chances against them. Also, no teams had this many points after 14 games not won the league. The feel-good factor at the club, and I do believe they're going to reinvest in the summer. I know there's a long way to go, but there's teams in this league that can't win it. Big teams. Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham. You know, can't win the league. Probably Man United. You know, for me, it's out of Arsenal and Man City at the moment as we talk. Unless the other teams go on the most extraordinary run you've ever seen in Premier League history. I think the two biggest things that will have to go in Arsenal's favour for them to win the league is one, they have to beat Man City at least once. I'm looking at them. I think Manchester City are the best team in the world. Yeah. <laughs> but they're dropping points. They're the ones who's dropping points, not Arsenal. And look, it is different from this stage of the season to the business end because you say about they can handle the pressure. There's no real pressure at the moment that, or, or the pressure will double, triple, quadruple in the last 10 games. But at the moment, we, we, we said that about Leicester and what happened? They went on to, to win the title. And that will be that will always be a bigger surprise than Arsenal winning the title. Yeah. I'm looking at Arsenal the way they are now. Defensively very, very sound. In midfield, they're 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 protecting the back four, but they're also creating chances. The one thing for me is the Jesus injury. He wasn't scoring goals beforehand. Eddie and Ketia, for me in these two games, two two. has been superb. And not just the goals, but how he's played. The question is, can he do it again and again and again and again and again? I don't think they're going to win the league. I think they can win it, but I don't think they will win it because I just think you can not You can never rule out Man City. And if Haaland stays fit, he has injury problems and they, City struggle when he's not there. They've clearly built the system around Haaland and they don't have, uh, I would say, they don't have much idea what to do when he's not there. Cross, cross and hope for Haaland won't, won't happen when Haaland's not there. But if he stays fit, there's no stopping them. You can't stop that. When he gets to 10 games to go or five games to go, it's so much different. And that's where I think Jay Suze and Sinchenko comes into it. If Arsenal are still there, it completely changes. We see that last season. Arsenal went on a run. They got into a position where we go, are they going to get top four? And then they fail to score at Southampton, Palace. You know, get well beat by Newcastle, well beat by Tottenham. You know, it's it's when the pressure tells. At the moment, it's not so much pressure.
I think the reason that more people aren't backing Arsenal is because of nearly 20 years without a title and failing in their, their last handful of title races. But I just think this is a completely different Arsenal. If Arsenal can continue upon this momentum, and there's no reason to suggest they can't, because Arteta's gone through his difficult period. He's now in the groove. He knows what he's got in his hands. It's his group of players. He's weeded out the ones that he doesn't want. He's got rid of the people that he felt might be divisive, and disruptive, and not following the message. He's got a group of players that he's imparted a message to, and they are following it. And of course, they're winning games, which makes it even more easier for a manager to impart wisdom to these players. I'd like to see Jesus, you know, score some more goals. But I do think he's a fabulous player, but he's going through this slightly barren patch at this moment in time, and that might be something that worries them. But I think Arsenal are contenders, but I don't think that they will win the league this year.